Guys, Randy here. Uh, we're going to do another video real quick. It's a short video on on fuel level and how it affects the engine tuning. It's a small tuning tool, and it actually a lot of people overlook it. And sometimes it can it can really make a, a difference. Can be just what you need. Let's say we got a here's our our actual fuel level sight plug. I got it, got the sight plug out. And we're looking at our fuel level. Let's say we have electric fuel pump. We turn key on, turn the fuel pump on, look and see where it's at. Rock the car a little and see how close it is to the top of this, actually the bottom of the screw hole. Now, normally we want it right there at the screw hole. We can run it a little high where it's running out. We can run it down an eighth of an inch below it if we need to. What that does, if we let's say we were just a little bit rich, especially coming off idle, or just maybe quarter throttle, mid throttle, all, all the way up. It actually helps him up up top. But we can actually drop this float level down to about an eighth of an inch below the bottom of that screw hole. And that will absolutely just lean the mixture a little bit. It actually slows the fuel flow. It has to draw harder to get it up over and through to the boosters here. So you can see where the booster sets compared to the bowl. It's actually above it. So the float fuel level is down below it, and the more we bring it down, the harder it has to work to get it up. So it slows down the mixture a little bit. So if you're just a little rich and you don't want to make a jet change, it's just not much off, just try lowering your float level about an eighth of an inch. You can maybe even go down to three sixteenths of an inch without causing any problem. Okay, if we're just a little bit on the lean side, bring it up just a little. Now this is just a small tuning tool, but it's there and it's free and it's quick and easy. Uh, there's all kinds of things. There's one little thing I want to show you real quick on a lot of your Holly carburetors. If you look at the rear bowl versus the front bowl on the actual fuel level plug, see how the secondary is lower than the primary? A lot of people don't even notice that. Some of the carburetors are almost up there identical. Some of them are a little low. So you can play with the secondary a little bit too. You can do the same thing. You got a fog coming in on the secondary side when they open. You can tune with the spring, but first, why don't you try just moving in the fuel level up to where it's just starting to come out of the hole. And that'll richen it a little bit and just see if it helps. And it's just a little quick tidbit, just on the fuel level, how you can use it as a tuning tool. And uh, I know that's not a, much of a video, but I just want to show you on the secondary side, you can also, if it's starting to hesitate, you think secondary is coming in too quick, just tighten up on your spring. Put a put an adjustable spring cover on there or either put you a stronger spring, one or the other, and you can play with it. All right, guys, this is just a quick, short video. Remember, always, guys, please like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoy this video. And don't forget to to turn on my post and, and notifications so when we shoot a video you'll get it you'll know it's there and we're going to try to start shooting these things regular we're going to i can't promise you but i'm going to i'm going to try my best to shoot one every day and and just we're going to do our best so guys thank you for watching i appreciate it this is randy and i hope it's helpful to you these